scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Thank you, Jesus. You are awesome in this place, faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing it one more time. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place. This is our testimony. Lord, you're awesome. Awesome yes, majestic, awesome, changing lives, transforming things. You, you are awesome in this place, faithful God.
important that Hallelujah. Lord, you are mighty. We will not cease to thank you for the things you are doing. SS changing to AA. Unbelievable miracles in the midst of your people. We thank you for the works of Jesus in our midst. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Just give me a minute or two. Let me just thank God. I'm grateful. I'm grateful, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your glorious presence. I hail you most high, you are my God. I hail you most high. I hail you most high, you are my God. I hail you most high. Sing it one more time, I hail you. I hail you most high, you are my God. I hail you most high, for you are bigger than what we say. say. For you are bigger than what we say. For you are bigger than what we say. tonight is worth it. Thank you. King of my life, you are my all, and I live for you alone. King of my life, you have my all, and I live for you king of my life you are my all and i live for you alone king of my life you have my all and i lay my life for you Yo 
You're the King of my life. Hallelujah. Numbers, are you in numbers? Strongholds of the mind. Numbers 13. This was the story of the 12 spies. I'll be very brief and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. And the Lord spake unto the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Okay, let's start from 13, 26. And they went and came to Moses and Aaron, as the spies now, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran and Kadesh, and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation, and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land to which thou sentest us. And surely it flowed with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people are strong that dwell in the land. And the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the Negev. And the Hittites and the Jebusites and Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the edge of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. 31. But the men that went up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Hallelujah. Bless your word tonight. Strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Now, mindsets. I want to talk a little about mindsets. Right, please. Mindsets. Mindsets. A mindset is a value system, an ideology. Hallelujah, my good friend. Come and shake me. Forget about the people. Come and give me a big hug. If you like, hug me, Seb. I've missed you. This way, Jerry. Thank you. I love her. I appreciate her. Many of you, if I say you should come out, how are you? I missed you, Jerry. Give me five. Yes, I'll go back to your seat. God bless you. A mindset is an ideology, your value system your plane of perception the platform from which you judge and interpret things is called a mindset there are some scriptures that i read in the bible that really made me afraid over the years one of them is for as a man thinketh in his heart so is he how can God equate a man's life with the content in, in his heart? He said, for as a man thinketh in his heart. And then another scripture says, guard your heart. Have you ever come across that scripture? It says, guard your heart with all diligence. Be meticulous about it. He said, for out of it. Hallelujah. New Living Translation says, for with it you will chart the course of your destiny. Guard your heart with all diligence. Hallelujah. It's always an honor for me to talk not just with different people but young people because what God is about to do in the nations is very prophetic and we are his battle acts. We are the tools that God will be using to accomplish all that he will be doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But then there is a big mountain that we need to conquer in Africa, in Nigeria, in Zaria, 
and only God knows where else. Hallelujah. I took out time to study the history of Nigeria and a bit about Africa. I'm not a historian. And I got to find out that as a result of the colonial rule, hallelujah, a spirit and a mindset was put upon the black race. Are you listening to me? And that mindset is a curse. A mindset that teaches men that all about your life is servitude. Are you listening to me? When, although Nigerians gained their independence, they were not free until today. We are still not free. And if we must rise up, listen to me, to that prophetic destiny that God has designed for us, then we must come out of certain mindsets. Tonight's message will wrestle a lot of mindsets and kick them out of your life. Hallelujah. I began to find out in my life that a man can never rise above and beyond his mindset. I know many of you have heard it, but write it. You can never rise beyond your mindset, your plane of perception. Did you know the limitation in Africa today is not the natural resources in this country or in this continent? Africa is the richest continent in the whole world. Hallelujah. Nigeria is a very prophetic nation. Yet, there's still death, corruption, poverty, mindsets. Hallelujah. And this mindset has eaten into the educational system of this country hallelujah such that when someone writes jam as soon as they give him admission the next thing he's eyeing one position just eyeing one office oh lord let me be a clerk let me be a secretary no productivity no advancement no thinking out of the box we have become managers of the realm that we found ourselves no breaking status quo to do anything Hallelujah. Some of you, your parents have told you, just follow it. Don't try to do anything new. Hallelujah. The Bible lets us know that 12 spies were sent to go and look at the land of Canaan. And the Bible says they all came back happy. They gave Moses and Aaron the report. They said it was wonderful. I mean, the land is truly flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. And then 10 of them says, but nevertheless, in other words, taste the fruit. Delicious. Really nice. However, we saw certain kinds of people that are half humans and half something else. Six fingers, six toes. Terrible people. To the extent that our mind interpreted us as grasshoppers before them. Hallelujah. Said the Jebusites, the Hittites, the Anakites dwelt in that land. And while they were speaking, a man called Caleb was just listening. And he allowed them to finish speaking nonsense. And then he says, well, this is my own report. Let us go up at once. In other words, look, we are more than ready. He said we can take these people. Forget about their height. There are two animals that Jesus associates himself with in the Bible. Number one is the lion. Number two is the eagle. And this bird and this animal, they are the king of their kingdoms. Hallelujah. And this is not because, for instance, the lion. The lion is not the strongest. The lion is not the wisest. Hallelujah. The lion is not the biggest. But there is an attitude there is a mindset the lion has a resolve and a determination and he made him to become the king of the jungle follow me tonight the eagle is such a robust creature such a robust bird that history tells us that the eagle does not fly it doesn't flap its wing it soars it will rise to a high altitude and stand and for a long time try to gauge the current of the wind why other birds are just flying and hoping that the wind goes their direction the eagle will stand 
such powerful vision that from a high mountain top the eagle can look at a lamb and come with accuracy and precision and pick it up hallelujah strong animal many qualities about these creatures for instance the lion will never eat any meat it did not kill if you give it dead meat no it will kill by itself understands the power of conquest and honor and jesus calls himself the lion of those many animals in judah is the lion of the tribe of judah hallelujah and the eagle to the extent that god loves these creatures that he designed creatures after this likeness and put them before his throne the lion the calf the face of a man and the face of the flying eagle the first thing i want to let you know is that mindsets are a sum total of number one your environment your environment right your mindset is a sum total of your environment number two your experiences your environment cultures your mindset those of us outside are we following say amen hallelujah your environment your experiences number three your cultural background cultural background cultural background number four your level of orientation and exposure hallelujah praise God these are mind builders so look up every one of us when we get born again we come into Christ with heterogeneous mindsets that are a derivative of many factors are you listening to me I've always given this an example as an example someone who grew up in Portacot or Wari or Lagos has a different mindset and an ideology from someone who grew up in Zaria. Is that correct? In Zaria here, a bus can stop and reverse just because of one person and can delay and wait. But down south, there's no time for that. You have to find a way of maneuvering yourself to jump out if you're interested in highlighting at that point. Because the people are serious and they are ready to move forward. There are certain mindsets. Hallelujah. In the north, for instance, I mean, you don't need to bow down or bend or do anything. Just maintain some level of courtesy and speak softly and you greet someone and that's okay. But in the south, you, that's not enough. Hallelujah. No matter how tall you are, you must bend down and greet. These are mindsets. Now, and it so happened that a majority of the factors that shape our mindsets did not come from the word of God. Hallelujah. Please follow me. This is very important. And so, as many as our heads are, just imagine that there are no bodies in this auditorium. Plenty heads. A summation of various mindsets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah various mindsets you have arrived at certain conclusions about life based on certain things hallelujah praise the lord when you come into christ and you get born again immediately the holy ghost begins his work of transformation and that transformation is not just changing you as it were physically but he begins to work on your mindset. He begins to scrutinize and edit your mindset thoroughly. And let me tell you something. This does not happen overnight. Are you listening to me? Because you have come to gain security and confidence over certain mindsets. For instance, there are certain people who never believe that they can make it in life on their own. There must be an external help somewhere. I don't mean godly help. You get what I'm saying. 
they can never there are students that even if you give them the exam question before the exam they will still fail the only thing is that let me copy it and answer it in a sheet and then enter with it mindset that's how they 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 went from primary one to js1 during waek that was what happened that's how they wrote jam it has become a mindset so when you say you are victorious, you say, of course, with my paper on my hand and my ability to be crafty and corny, I know I will make it in this life. Hallelujah. There are other people who believe that the way to treat people is an eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. What else for what again? Leg for leg, anything. Do me as I do you. Don't say that other part because it's very ungodly. Hallelujah. And so we have all kinds of we we have guys who come from cultures where a lady cannot talk looking at the guy in the eye. Correct? She will bow down or do whatever. Now you come into a new environment and you carry your village with you. And you are moving everywhere, hoping that everyone is that atmosphere. mindsets so now you are in a class for instance or you are in koinonia like this and they say give your neighbor a high five and you are wondering there are contemplations in your heart what kind of disrespectful environment is this mindsets let me tell you as you see people move they are carrying several things with them they may be quiet you may put with one on it you may bab it only they are mindsets mindsets there are certain people who have never seen a miracle in their life never seen one and so the day they see anything i watch the faces of people during miracle service and i see the shock that happens when you lift your hands and someone falls by your side you're just mindsets every time the word of god comes you know what it does it's like an arrow and it hits different mindsets so mindset say lie lie i don't agree it begins to challenge your mindset and it's like a wall strongholds listen demons take advantage of these mindsets and they access certain lives there are many families today who believe that they believe in what i call traditional christianity you, you get my point we love god we we'll go to church on sunday however we won't go and visit the man, but there are certain things we can take along with us. When the going gets tough, it's the tough that gets going. And so we use that mantle. Where is the God of our herbalist? And you use it to part the Red Sea. And so there are mindsets. Mindsets. There are many fathers today, for instance. The day the wife calls him darling, he looks and says, Ah, what is my wife watching? That's supposed to be a lovely compliment but the man will be offended for maybe months i said what kind of disrespect is this hallelujah or a small child just say mommy i need to tell you something say you didn't even add my mindsets there are guys who will never greet a lady for instance and say you must be the one to greet me that's how it is in our village so they are carrying it again atmosphere mindset although you are born again now follow me you are born again you are filled with the holy ghost but you carry it with you and when god wants to step in and do something in your life those mindsets stand as strongholds are you listening to me and so god must break those mindsets and they give way there are some of you who never believe that you can help anybody there's one very dangerous house statement don't ever find yourself confessing that statement it's a curse on yourself hallelujah there are people who believe listen to me there are people who believe that they can never be blessed to be a blessing to others hallelujah there are other people who believe i'm telling you maybe some of you are even here there are some people who believe God can never hear them directly. They say, pray for us. 
You think they are joking, but they mean it. I want to ask you a question tonight. What mindset did you come here with tonight? Because God is about to work on certain mindsets. Dangerous and terrible mindsets. There are people who believe, for instance, you can get born again, get into a relationship, sleep around. So long as you are going to marry the lady, guaranteed. It's a mindset. So when the word of God is coming about purity and holiness, that mindset says, forget it. Who is not doing it? There are mindsets that believe that if you want honor, be a pastor. Correct? And sadly, there are many ministries. That's what they call spiritual development. So the day you get born again, your ambition, your goal, your plan is to come to a point where you become a pastor. So all the brothers want to be pastors. And if you are not a pastor, you are a failure based on the mindset that has been created. So everybody is moving around. I'm a pastor. I'm this, I'm that. There are certain people, listen, who because of the challenges that they went through, they, you drank gari using your hand. Eh? You mix the sugar with your hand and drank it. So that anger is still in you. And you are looking for the people to vent that anger on. So the day they make you a leader, you try to make sure you prove to everybody you are not as naive as before again. Why did you bring fork for me to eat this food? Why did you do this? As if you were not using your hands before. Mindsets. And we, are you getting blessed tonight? And we use these things to define our behavior with other people. There are other people who believe that once you are simple with certain people, they disrespect you. So the moment they see anybody, they square up their shoulder. Say, please bring me my blackberry. Say, no, the other one, I mean the bold, bold what? Not the other one. Or let me even use the galaxy tab. I think that one will be faster. What is who cares? Now you think the people are being impressed, and someone else with his mindset is being surprised. He's saying, You mean this is the definition of fulfillment in this man's world? Hallelujah. So the guy is coming close to a lady and he's flipping his phone. And in his world, he has people like him, he has found them around. So they have become groups. There are mindsets. So who is wearing which watch? Who is wearing this? And that's all his pursuit. That's what drives him. You are sitting at the back, but you believe based on your mindset that everybody is seeing you. Mindsets can be terrible. Let me tell you. Mindsets. Hallelujah. There are guys that come with mindsets. They believe. No lady can tell me no. I ask any lady I want at any time. I don't hear no. I am this. I am chief this. I am chief that. Devilish, satanic strongholds of the mind. Are you following me now? There are mindsets. There are certain people who have been taught money doesn't grow on trees. All these tags, they are deceiving you. All these giving you better keep your money. They can have one million naira. You, you have 10,000. If you give them 100 naira, they'll collect. And add it. Mindsets. And there are all kinds of books to help and massage that mindset and keep you in it. Hallelujah. Do you realize that every one of us in this place, including myself, have mindsets that have built up themselves as strongholds are you listening to me and except these mindsets are conquered some of us will never rise beyond our present level hallelujah there are certain people they go to school they do everything but their mindset still takes them i was listening to one man he said he's gone abroad he did this but he likes his local dish it's his best food i say it's a lie it's a lie. You went abroad. What did you eat? Where did you go? Abroad is, is like saying I studied science. Where did you go? Which restaurant? He said he came back and he found out that all those things are junk. Not everything is junk. Oh, let me tell you the truth. Just tell us based on your level 
of financial resources and the exposure that was available at that time you went to a place that did not create the best of pictures but don't because there are certain people living in a higher realm of life and you see the thing about mindsets is this listen there are two factors or forces that can help you get out of mindsets number one the word of god or number two premature exposure the danger is that if it's not the word of god that begins to reorient your mind you're going to become a disaster because when you suddenly realize let me give you an example someone who always just enters express express just stop he carries you to wherever you are going and then one day someone gives you a lift you've always known you are fine it's just that you didn't know the accent and then someone just stopped you in his bmw x5 i've been talking about that car hallelujah for me or you you are a student you better read your book you have exams next week hallelujah now you enter the car ah! suddenly you begin to find out that you mean there is a higher realm of life than what i have known hallelujah you sit down the seat adjusts itself on you how your mind something is happening at that point when you drop from that car what happens it leaves you with a memory the memory displaces something in your car your roommate that used to say hi you now say ah don't things are changing orientation are you listening to me or they now make you a leader whether a leader of your fellowship or something and suddenly for the first time they held your bible you've never known how it feels you've only imagined it ah! and you wanted to behave yourself but later on you couldn't hide it you laughed and you smiled and then everybody wants to leave the old for new if you taste of the new and it's better you will dump the old quickly when i was in port Harcourt, there was a preacher the church i attended there fulfilling world ministries and the man of god traveled abroad to uk for the first time they gave him three thousand pounds as honorarium when he came back pastor he said i saw a level of life that is better than the way you wicked members in this church have been subject no really and he in anger he said so i am this valuable and you people have been playing with me you go and see the way other people have you seen people like that say from today from today and call for certain partners that will be sowing into his life every week to the end of that year it was as, and they did something wrong in the church and he left he was going the members had to run and bring him i sat down there and i said you see you see why god doesn't answer some prayers you see why god doesn't answer oh god Take me, even if it's Ghana, take me out of this country. And God says, the way you are, if your leg matches the international airport, you, you will come back, you will not hear God again or anybody. There are people like that. Oh. They give you 5,000 naira home and abroad. That's all you have. You just have to depend on God and use it well one day you went to your friend's house and the father gave you hundred thousand ah! you did everything you did in your small world and there was still change you didn't even know what to do with it again from that time the day you see your father counting five thousand you are just tapping your hand and say if you won't give me i know how to get it now i'm smart this is what leads people into prostitution they tested something that looked better than the old life but it was not a derivative of the word of god and so there's that craving if i can just sleep with this orgasa and two hundred thousand is my own it's not like it's for us to share my own who will know and they start before you know it they are changing mindsets and so our goal in this place because there are many of you the way you are receiving the word of god your mindsets are saying no it's just your head that is saying yes when you are saying yeah yeah your mind is saying you are joking i'm not giving way i will preserve this mindset there are some of you who will see someone maybe your friend going 
to go and sleep with one man traveling even during this exam now going to go and collect the money for exam and you say well the way i am you know it's not good to disturb people who told you this this issue of it's not good they used to say this should not be done start scrutinizing the foundation of your mindset where did it come from hallelujah are you listening to me see those mindsets responding in anger i'm seeing all of them the mindsets just coming from east west north middle belt all of them just rising we will crumble them tonight in the name of jesus because the bible says psalm 78 from verse 10 down to 17 and when you read further the bible says that the nation of israel haven't gone through 430 years of captivity the children were born in slavery born in servitude hallelujah the bible says when they went to the wilderness they limited god by saying can god make a way in the wilderness do you know there are some of our parents today who do not ever believe that they can buy a new car i mean brand new i'm not talking of belgium brand new that you are the one who removes the rubber when you say that they just laugh this stupid boy you are still you grow up and you understand what is all that and there are many of us from the time you were earning five thousand now god has helped you you are earning two hundred and fifty thousand to buy a new shirt the day you buy it, you will cry because it looks like you lost a baby mindsets you are in the boutique you are just frowning you come back what happened i bought a new shirt this is something that is supposed to be a blessing but that mindset of suffering you are used to it to the extent that when god wants to give you a new opportunity say no god is okay i i need to you go to a restaurant you, you, you someone is paying the bill you're already embarrassing yourself how much is everything what is your business Say the person took you these are mindsets that disgrace us in public places you are well dressed you kept quiet nobody knew when they said have you just say how are you the one paying for it or some of you because you have never been there when you get there you will do crazy things they say okay pick this hey let me take it now because i don't know where give me this uh, puff puff ice cream give me this this cake is it for birthday or just normal days bring it you reveal your mindset when opportunities give room that's why many people limit themselves some people go for a job interview as soon as you enter you don't greet anybody you just go to the seat and sit down you say i got first class they just tell you get up and walk out of this place they will never give you that job doesn't matter who prayed for you bad manners you just step in and enter and just sit down and you're looking at everybody say how are you you say hi hi you are looking for a job you think that's how the people got that job they ask you a question see let me tell you if the, god will help us this night oh say amen, amen. You entered the job this in you saw that it was your uncle just say ah uncle yeah they are doing an interview for you mindsets mindsets see this is why some people never step into some levels of grace and lifting and power they never become leaders they remain servants forever that's the mindset in Africa. You see Nigerians on CNN or BBC and see what many of them do. Hallelujah. We spend money and pay their flight. They take from the national treasury. And you, when it's time for them to speak, look at the ambassadors of many countries articulating themselves very well. When it gets to the point of Nigerians, they take personal issues that is not the business of the world and start venting. Listen to them on radio everywhere mindsets preachers mindsets 
they named their sermons after their annoyance i am coming back this time around for you what is that you just know that he's fighting with someone it's not the oil but the hand that holds the oil that matters let me tell you something a mindset can limit you you can never rise above and beyond the level of your mindset make sure as you are laughing you are taking it seriously hallelujah when god began to open my mind about my mindset i found out that if i don't change my mindset my life will never change and i began a radical project to change my mind because as innocent and loving as my parents were some of their mindsets were not consistent with god's word are you listening to me and i knew that i have to change it there are many of you who are waiting right now for your father or mother to die you have been eyeing the house you see people fighting they are fighting over their grandfather's land they should be ashamed of themselves they say when he left it was this not where he put the mark from that time till now you've not been productive to rise up and do everything you are even gathering your children and say when you see uncle so 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 hate him for the rest of your life because that land is our own what did i say the children is our own they stand up with that mindset they go around to school say it's our land You see why I sang that song? What's the song again? I can go back to the way. What is the it? What is the it? The mindset. It used to be terrible. So you are, you are making a vow that I won't go back. I've seen a higher light. I've seen a better life. That you can be prosperous and make heaven. That you can be a millionaire and make heaven that you can walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and still be prosperous that you can shake your generation and bless people that from that you can write the books that are in your heart i study a lot about great people have a lot of their documentaries hallelujah and i'm touched at how they spoke to themselves talk about the man nelson mandela great man had a dream in his heart and he said he was going to change the course of south africa and 20 years in prison did not stop him right now even on their currencies his face that is there almost every note i think every note now many people clap and we use him as a case study he changed his mindset. Jesus was born in Nazareth. And the Bible says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Jesus said, no. My vision is beyond this place. I refuse to be confined. Do you know that many of you seated here, if you will tap one third of the grace that God has put in your life, your generation will not recover from what you have. But you've been hearing all kinds of voices that have been speaking to you. Every time you look at Oprah Winfrey, you just imagine yourself but now with the perspective of the kingdom and your mindset just punishes you and said you better hibernate i think you need some rest you think people just grow and become tv hosts hallelujah do you know how bad a mindset is a mindset can be so bad to the extent that if someone comments you you can think is the person is intimidating you or the person is insulting you they just say ah you speak very well though. you go back and ask 10 people and say if somebody is angry with you how should the person respond mindsets many of us have had different mindsets when our parents are angry they have names they call us stupid boy say sir so you have grown with that mindset and now every time you want to move forward that thing replaced. See, you can change the future, but you cannot change history. The mind has a memory bank. 
it keeps records of all the days when you could not do certain things and when god begins to speak to you and say look i can take you to a higher place do you believe it one of the greatest gifts a man can have is self-confidence i don't mean arrogance self-confidence some of you have refused to learn how to drive till today till tomorrow not because a car is not available you believe the day you get on the road you are going to kill somebody and yet you see these these Alsa boys small boy of nine years ten years you know when they park the car in pz the masters will be resting the boys are so confident they don't ever imagine accident that's how they learn no no driver's license no nothing confidence many of you lose confidence you have a presentation you you are the best student you have the best work but you are fidgeting come and lead prayer you who praise very well now you are praying and oh father in the name of jesus you find yourself saying things you shouldn't say you didn't even know you have ended the prayer because of pressure all kinds of things but when the holy spirit begins to work on you listen to me the first thing is he exposes the flaw in your mindset the greatest deceit that can happen to any man in the earth is to believe your mindset is okay the way it is every time i interact with god's word i look at myself sometimes i just look at myself at the mirror i say joshua change for god's sake and then i slap my head and i laugh back again but i'm just these are just efforts to say you need change i read some of them his book multiply your success lead powerful leadership book there are many of you that what you are seeing he and i and all of these things god is already every time you sit here god is telling you do 10 times more than what you are seeing you say god me when will you stop that mindset of inferiority and complex are you listening to me that mindset of unworthiness and false humility and embrace what god has said about you there are ladies in this place you believe that if you get married it's a miracle in fact, the wedding should be called Thanksgiving, not, not wedding solemnization. You just have some nasty, negative things about yourself. So other ladies, their hands are soft and tush, but our hands, the testimony of hard work. Mindsets. Mindsets. Hallelujah. Mindsets. There are some of us, the first day they give you fork and spoon and knife, you sit down and be laughing at yourself for a long time. It's not like you cannot use it. Is it excitement or pressure? You are just, you don't even know what to do. Say, I deserve a good life. Say it. Africa. This is the gift Africa gave us. We grew up and met mindsets. That will never tell us we can arise never the day you took first you went to your father and said daddy i took first he said eh? what did you work for what did i pay your school fees for give me chance jerry as the mechanic come and you are wondering you are saying somebody who took 10th position they caught chicken for the person your neighbor and you took first and they trivialize it and you say okay according to my mindset first is the same as 14th position the next next time you get 20th position and your father says i always knew you say it doesn't make any difference some of us grew up with that mindset and so excellence lives your life permanently you don't value it you don't respect it get up and throw clothes on your on your bed and leave it there say sure i'm going to marry one day mindsets so two couples get married are you let me use somebody come my dear are you ready to accept this lady as your lovely way you didn't even listen you just know that yes you call yes two of you go to the house clash of heterogeneous mindsets coming from several places in our world my father treats me like a queen the other guy in their world i'm the king clash of values 
When I'm pregnant, will you cook for me? Am I crazy? Will I cook for you? Men don't go to our kitchen in our, in our culture. Mindsets. You see why it's good to stay with the word of God? He said, do not be conformed to this age, but be what? Transformed. What does a transformer do? Say it. What does a transformer do? Changes things. God bless you, my dear. Mindsets. Because the way many of us are going, our mindset will lead to a fatal accident in life. You are praying in tongues. You are moving. But your mindset is taking you back. Your mindset is taking To the extent, do you know that, well, you can ask Jake's ambition. By God's grace, we have prayed for thousands of people in tongues and have found out that 90% of people who have challenges receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit at that spot are people who were challenged with their mindsets. When they begin to speak, they turn aside and they are looking. They feel like I'm such a villager, I cannot even articulate myself. Now you are saying I should be filled with the Holy Spirit. Did I really receive it? Or the one I received came from somewhere? They say, turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you have a great destiny. Immediately you turn, you just see your village. You don't see another neighbor. And you remember, what about the farm? What about the tractor there? What about this? And God is telling you, you will rise from that level. Some of us, where we come from, maybe it's even a hut that you are staying, a real hut. So what? Say after me, so what? So you get angry. Your dad is a carpenter. You just see one guy pass, you say, that's my, my father's younger brother. All these people, they tell them, work hard, they will work hard. Have you seen people like that? Denying their father and mother. Their mother sells Akara. And they come, they say, who is that? They say, well, they say mommy, mommy. They mention one name. They say, it's just the name we call her. That's the express revelation of complex. You need a retreat. Quick. Quick. Whatever you are doing, stop and go for a retreat. We are not proud of ourselves. See, this is what makes a lot of guys. They come to meet a lady and they come and they are telling her stories. Say to sin. Um, my father just dropped one G. Who asked you? Who asked you? See, and the other day, self, I was even wondering, uh, you care for anything? He doesn't have money. Pressure. Pressure. He begged for someone's phone and told the guy to call him when he's with this lady. See, I deliver you from that mindset in this place in Jesus' name. There are many ladies who cannot go and see their boyfriend or whatever. They say, please give me this phone. Please give me your shoe. Please Work with what you have. covetousness a product of mindset you can't see anything good and leave it quietly hallelujah mindsets do not be conformed to this age there are many of us who have adopted wrong mindsets of success right now you're already imagining if i become like pastor jakes my own zue rao not sit at the back she'll be standing holding the water when I want to drink, I'll just shift my mouth like this and shoot. That's your mindset. And as crazy as what I'm saying is, there are people today who are doing it. They do it with honor and dignity. There are pastors today that if their members see them anywhere, they will kneel down and have to greet them. And then he stands. You are embarrassing yourself because that's a mind. By the time you rise to a higher level, you You want to write a book you say you want it to be a bestseller you go and meet somebody in community market and say can you produce this book for me is it going to be a bestseller that way you are used to photocopying handouts small books god is saying write something that will take nations are you getting blessed tonight we are going to pray see the point of my message tonight is to reveal to you that your mindset has been keeping you where you are as a ministry we are where we are today because of our mindset if we rise higher we'll move higher hallelujah you see a lot of people 10 years 20 years five members 10 members they keep giving all kinds of flimsy excuses 
good preachers but bad leaders they won't read about leadership they won't read about all of these things they won't increase they won't go anywhere you will remain at the level you are until light comes to pick you out of there he said arise and shine why for your light new knowledge i promise you you will remain at any level you are in life until light if you are ready to disengage your former mindset and pick up something new you can rise from that level hallelujah god is telling you you can be a tv host and you sit and say i can't speak english how many months does it take to learn sound english i won't go back i can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence the way you grew up you cannot remain like that i won't go back i can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence Every time I look at myself, I see a great leader. I see a visionary leader. I have such a healthy perspective of my life. I admire people, but not enough to intimidate myself. Because I have stayed long enough in the secret place to know the things that he has put in me. And I know they will open any door. many of you are trying to be like people who will one day admire you in the future did you know that i had, i wanted to be like many people who want to be like me today because i did not know what i carried and so we have all kinds of models on tv rihanna who again and you look at them and you smile you imagine yourself in their place wrong models and you begin to follow their own path and you end up in destruction i told myself i will not die the way i was born i was born quietly only my mother and a few visitors i wouldn't die that way jesus was born in a manger when he was going back to heaven there was a crowd celebrating him let me tell you something you can choose to rise beyond your level there are many of us abu has limited you carryover has limited you your class of degree has limited you you think you may never rise beyond that level you must believe in yourself listen to me i'm speaking to you right now you must believe in yourself believe that you can become anything the only limitation in my life is the voice of the holy spirit as far as i'm concerned there is nothing i cannot become nothing 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 i remember when we we're going to have our crusade in 2006 we we're organizing it you are going to a local government young just smiling all we had was faith but we knew we we're going to do it they limited god many of you have limited god every time you look at the frustration of your family members god tells you you are the savior you will arise but every time god speaks it another voice another voice starts speaking to you and many of us have yielded to those voices oh i believe in myself i have a great life i'm telling you i'm telling you the best that god has for me is my heritage in christ i believe i will write books that will shake this generation yeah i believe it listen we said this thing sir right from those days we'll pray and say we know it that god will do That's why I tell some of you, make faith proclamations. Whenever you say I'm great, you just look. You say I even trekked from campus to come. So what? So what? There is nothing you are going through today that somebody did not go through and conquered it. Some of you have not eaten anything. 
you came for koinonia hungry it's not because restaurants closed today it's because you didn't have money let me tell you something that is not enough to give you a mindset that you're a failure every time you go to your mother or your father they call you and say my son my daughter it's not like i don't love you you know if i had more i would have given if i were you i would go back and say lord take me out of this mindset fill me with the holy spirit make me a world changer and let my parents have a foretaste the man called pan and Pasi paul was living in my auntie's boys quarters used to stay in my auntie's boys quarters when he started this kind of music they kicked him out of many churches in Joss. but today when you enter his office you see awards that you cannot imagine hallelujah so the first point tonight is refuse to remain where you are this is why we teach the things we are teaching you must know that you are a leader you won't be a follower forever say i will not be a follower forever say it you cannot remain a follower forever you cannot remain in a rented house forever you grew up there you saw them humiliating your father and your mother you are not doing anything about it god is speaking to you tonight he said i'm a lady but nobody has come to marry me that's a mindset that needs to leave you because you believe that your life is tied around a man hallelujah there are many guys here you are just waiting to graduate some of you got your service this day today you are happy not because they give awards in service place but because of how much is the alawi 18.5 and you are smiling in your world that's prosperity say i never had it that good leave me let me enjoy it your lecturer looks at you and says i brought your test and i look you are a dull student i've always known pretty lady dull head and you carry that mindset you define yourself I refuse any report that is not the word of God whatever my father did not have I will give it to them whatever my mother did not have I will give it to them I told my mother this I told her you relax since I'm already alive I'm walking you just get ready to smile every day of your life the remaining part of your life will be years of laughter John the Baptist was called a son of consolation many of you the way you are going you see someone 35 years your parents are still helping you 35 years pop season here and someone you are 35 years no pressure will you marry i'll think about it what are you doing in your life that lad nobody should leave me alone i'm not a small child and every time they put small food say i'm not a small child so you know back out out of your father's house no sense of responsibility you are not paying any bills you are not doing anything the little money you get you go and play football you come back in the evening throw your boots everywhere what kind of life is this and you went to school you read you graduated but your mindset has betrayed you and everything people just say so somebody in your village calm down before you finish calling the names of innocent people in your village find out how see there are many ministries claiming blessings oh we are working in millions ask them do you have an account do you have an account they say no whose account will you use say well uh, when it comes we will be able to arrange ourselves let me tell you something it will end in those loud noise in the mic you are not pre the bible says go and borrow vessels if you truly believe that new oil is coming borrow vessels it is a borrow oil it's a borrow vessels hallelujah three ways to transform your mind right quickly number one oh, the lord is challenging people tonight right number one generally speaking all right this is just generally speaking 
you need a new orientation whenever you find out that you have a faulty mindset the bible says you cannot put new wine in what an old wine skin you need both a new wine and a new wine skin you want to transform your mind number one realize that your present mindset is not its best realize it come to terms with it i don't care if your father is a billionaire it's your father's money it's not your money i don't care if you're a five pointer or you're a one pointer i don't care if you are working in a bank or you are working in an oil company listen to me there is more in your life you cannot remain this way i've always known that there's more in my life some of you are here and all that is in your world is you are local champions here in zaria the best student in your class and you think that's how the world will treat you everywhere you step out and find out a rude shock when i was in secondary school we used to win every debate we go to we didn't know that it was just that our standard was low i was saying we are very smart people one day we tried one school i won't mention the name ah we tried one school what they did for us that day i was one of the speakers we embarrassed ourselves that day we hated our school that day hated the principal and everybody i just looked at them i wished i wasn't in that school because we're local champions in our little local government where we were hallelujah the first day i tried jam mathematics after five hours i got four only four i said this is serious serious i was the best student in my class i said this is serious a mindset kept me believing that i'm a superstar now jam brought their question i didn't do for damas so i knew that this is not child's play immediately i recognized the need hallelujah i started organizing lessons for my classmates a rescue mission quick because i told them look let me tell you we we'll write waeg and be short because of that i started challenging myself i tried gc i did very well and when i looked i said there's got to be more it's got to be more i was a laboratory prefect i won't go out oh. I locked myself in the lab there because I didn't know more so I thought all that there was was intellect but I sat down there the other best student in my school then the smartest student got lab and library not head boy head boy was for talkatives if you were smart and they wanted you to have a good result you become the library prefect or the lab prefect so that you can sit down in one place I made up my mind not to be small. I started reading further maths on my own. 60% of my chemistry I learned it by myself. See, I didn't do the kind of your school. In our own school, we were was building the school as students. When you misbehave, you just go and change. Oh yeah! Change and go and serve job. Some of you were, you were to schools where you already laptop. Did we ever have a laptop? We had to borrow Whitstone Bridge for work. Yet I, I told myself, I said, this will not define my life. I'm going far. Are you listening to me? Many of you have kept yourself in positions giving flimsy excuses. I told myself one day my world will celebrate me. Hmm. Number one, Go for knowledge. Buy the truth. Please write. Buy the truth. Read books that will mold your character. Read books that will teach you leadership. Read books on fatherhood. Read books on ministry. This is why we are putting together a school of ministry. The school of ministry is not for pastors. 
the school of ministry is to raise ambassadors in all spheres. Hallelujah. Raise ambassadors. Go for knowledge. Look at me. Many of you have, some of you, apart from your grammar, English grammar that you read, you've never sat down to read any book and finish it. You look at a book, 5,000 naira is over my dead body. 5,000. Abba, what will 5,000 do? I can buy beans. I can buy one tier of, of, of gari and mix all this. In. That's why it's only, my mother will say, it's only your stomach that will be coming out. Your destiny will remain where it is. Because that's the only thing you are feeding. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Some of you, God has told you you'll be a leader over many. What books have you read about leadership? You don't know anything about leadership. So you are doing traditional leadership in your faculty. Because that's all you know. That's what you saw the king, <laughs> the king of your village do. Now you have become a president. And you, are, you just imagine... The members of the cabinet, those people that are carry Koboko and follow King, and you begin to treat people because that's what you know. When life puts pressure on you, you reveal your mindset. Many of you lack character, you lack communication skills. You wake up in the morning, you cannot greet your roommate to say good morning. Say, Am I a child? They gave birth to me 5th of October 1975. You, they gave birth to you 6th of October. Am I not older? You see, mindset. Mindset. You eat food and ask the person, carry the plate. Mindset. What? When, will, when has it given anybody food? And you are bold to say it. When people come, you say, This is my younger brother. Must you tell us? Are we blind? Forget the fact that he's bigger than me. He's my young. Calm down. Mindset. You'll never be a leader with this mindset. You may be a good tongue talker. You may be a good miracle worker. But you cannot take your world this way. Because the world you are going to take are not born again. It takes more than just praying in tongues to take your world. Are you listening to me? There must be a level. I was reading an article by Jimo Ibrahim. He just celebrated his 46th birthday and I was so touched. I was just reading about his history. Jimo Ibrahim. Some of you don't even know who is, who is Jimo Ibrahim. You are in Nigeria here. The only thing you know is, is what's, which is the latest soup opera now. They don't do it again. Paloma, second chance. That's all you know. That's why you are behaving like what you have been watching. But tonight I'm challenging you. Say after me, I go for knowledge. Because see, when you begin to, the Bible says, look for. It says, Jesus took the book and he saw where it was written by prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He found in the volume of the books where it was written. You can find your destiny when you go for knowledge. The first book I began to read when I made up my mind to walk in destiny was discovering your potentials. Dr. Miles Monroe, I will never forget what that book did for me. Understanding your potentials. I didn't even know there was something called potentials. And I said, alright, this is it. This is it. I will begin a journey. Read books on leadership. You are always fighting with your sister at home. It's a sign that you are going to beat up your wife. Get a book on fatherhood quick. Quick! Every small child you see, you say, me, I hate children. Ah, that's a revelation that you need to read something. Go to Sunday school books. CEM, read something. Read scriptures about Jesus relating with children. Receive that impartation. Some of you are about to write your exams. Once again, the mindset that brought you, I patched three C's, added two more, and I came to this school. And now God is telling you this semester you will have the best of results. And you laugh. You say, where are them? Uh, where are them? So, 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 so. As if their success will stop your own. I believe in myself. 
I know that God can take me anywhere. Do you believe this about yourself? Hallelujah. I will never be small in life. No. Never. I will do great things for the kingdom. This is why I like Christ, Christ embassy. Oh, they give you a mindset of a champion. They give you a mindset of a warrior. They, they shape a mindset that refuses failure totally. I refuse to be a failure in life. I refuse it. I refuse the limitations of my lineage. Whoever has looked at your family and said, can anything good come? You hold on and see. You are a miracle on your way to happen. Are you listening to me? Everyone. God has given you a music ministry. Every time you look at these great people who told you you cannot become like one of them. Every man in the earth today was born. He was a baby in the hands of someone. A mindset took him to where he is. They asked Jimo Ibrahim, they said, what is the secret of your blessings? And he said, number one, the grace of God. He said, number two, knowledge. He said, sometimes I look at Nigerians, if they know what I know, they will live where they are instantly. Do you know that's true? The same way you can grow in knowledge and mindset and change different things. Look at what God is doing by the grace of God. The organization, the leaders and the rest. You think this is guesswork? This is not just prayer. Many of you want great leaderships. You want a great business, great company, great this. You have the name but you've not read any book. If you like, go and register the name. You will remain a broke failure in life. Broke failure until the mindset of God takes you out of that level. Hallelujah. The people from my place drink. They drink a lot. I told myself that mindset, I will kick it out of my life. I will never be associated with the evil that comes from my territory. Are you listening to me? There are some of you, your, your clans or villages are associated with different kinds of things. Temper, lust, immorality, demonic practices, irresponsibility. Will you take this as a mindset? And say it happens to everybody. Is it my fault that I was born from so so place? Hallelujah. One day your father looked at you and said, Sorry, I cannot pay your school fees. And you had to fend for yourself. Are you going to allow your children to think like that? Many of you are shallow minded. You're not thinking five years from now. You're not thinking ten years from now. Let me and I'm speaking to the guys most especially. You are just growing old and, and, and growing beard on your face. You are not adding anything to your head per day. I never sleep any day until I add new knowledge to myself. Never. My eyes does not see sleep until I add something. The more you have knowledge, you will be in command in life. Look at Chinese, North Korean. The whole hands, their hands is like from here to here. Short people. But they are ruling the world. Because it's not about their size. It's about their intellectual capacity. Many of you need to begin to buy books. Is Oga Jordan around? He didn't come. Oga Jordan. Where is he? He's outside. Jordan bookstore is there. See, it's better for you to buy one trouser. 250. 250 naira on the floor. They may laugh at you but not for long. I assure you, it won't be for long. Show me a man who will pay the price to change his mindset. You are in partnership with God for a victorious life. You won't die a failure. It may take a while. Hallelujah. Do you believe this about yourself? When God called me, I believed. I have never sat down to think, Kai, am I too small? I'm, no, I don't think all those kinds of satanic thoughts. Because I found in Philippians chapter 2 verse 8, it said, finally brethren, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, I can go anywhere, I can do anything. If God tells me to build a 10-story building for Koinonia, off I go. Off I go. You will be saying it won't happen. You will just find out that we will give you a letter for the dedication. Confidence. Confidence. 
but I know whom I have believed. See, I want you to be confident about your life. If you are not confident about your life, you will need someone else to keep endorsing you. There are many of you that will never be satisfied. You do a nice hair, you know it's nice. You need 10 people to tell you it's nice before you believe. What kind of life is that? Stop trying to prove points and settle down. Go for knowledge. Say, I contend for knowledge. Say it. Yes, you may stay in the house. You fetch water from the stream. You are still doing it right now. Fetch the water from the stream. But carry your Bible and carry the book. Say, Lord, one day, I will have, I will have boreholes and I will build boreholes in my village. Hallelujah. You eat once a week, no problem. In the midst of your pain, just tell yourself, I'm changing my mind, I'm changing my life. I told myself this thing long ago. Hallelujah. I believe in ear and I. I believe in where God is taking us. That's why all the things that are happening today, it's not a shock. We are just grateful. Never a shock. Not at once. See, listen. It's not happening because of Joshua Selman. It's happening because of a mindset. I assure you, if you have it, you will rise. Whether you are on jeans or you are, it's about your mindset. Are you listening to me? Some of you, God is speaking to you about bakeries. You have passion for bread, but you are sitting down. You are saying, bakery, I went to school. Sit down there. The day someone who will... See, prophecies are like rain. Whoever brings a container will receive with it and will run. You sit down there and be delaying. You will watch someone run with your vision and accomplish it. I believe that by the grace of God, one day we will own our television station. Dead free. We will stand on air telling anybody, please bring $35 and 5 cents. No. Because God has given us the law of prosperity. It's a matter of time. Gentiles will come from. A day will come. It will be a privilege to partner with us. Oh, it will happen. Do you believe this about your life? I believe a day will come. When I will not even be allowed to buy anything with my money. Because people we have changed will be too grateful. Too grateful. They will make my daughter headgear by force. Just as a way of it's my mind it's my mind one day my child will say daddy can I have this in the freezer I say go on I didn't enjoy it have it what will your child say the day he calls you daddy will he say daddy I have something that I want to discuss with you why are we like this change your mindset you have received a wrong mindset many of us do not like what we receive from our parents but you are already becoming what you hate because you are not doing anything about your mindset exactly what you hate you are already becoming it I refuse to remain the way I am I contend for knowledge I won't behave like a Nigerian I will behave like a citizen of the what is in it for me that's the language of Nigerians. Chop, I chop. You can never help somebody and go quietly. What is in it for me? Wrong mindsets we got from Nigeria. Many of you are adopting it. You like it. Someone says, do you have the number of somebody? Yes, I say, I have. Send me 200 naira recharge card. You think you are joking, but now you are used to it. But I deliver you from that mindset tonight. Tonight we are going to be praying. So number one, go for knowledge. Number two. Consistently speak the word of God. Consistently speak the word of God. Speak the word of God. Speak the word of God. The word of God comes with power. The word of God comes with hope. hallelujah i was talking with the protocol team yesterday and i was telling them a day will come 
will have bosses bosses e -S 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 bosses that who can give a way to help many people look at today by the grace of god we are going to shika tomorrow and sunday hallelujah and we're not even thinking about the budget oh well we do this the grace of god we are going to now start becoming a blessing to others you if you do not believe do you know many people will suffer because of your mindset you can be a blessing to the world i refuse to be where i will not remain in this state next month i should have left this realm of reality to a higher one i learned this from samadayami oh i have certain people who have mentored my mind some of you sit down there god is telling you listen to samadayami and matu ashimolo to understand success principles your pastor is there with his mindset telling you don't listen to anybody again he's a broke failure it's just that he's called he's sitting there and he's educating you in your little world and you will not break boundaries and see what god is doing internationally Was this message preached by my pastor? No, I won't listen to it. And you remain there. Hallelujah. You see an elderly woman speaking wisdom about family life. You won't humble yourself and listen. You say, I'm a pastor in my church. You are fumbling, fumbling in life and you won't calm down and listen. Are you learning something, please? See, you must begin a project and tell yourself you are changing your mindset i'm changing it i'm changing it hallelujah when tosin was the former treasurer she surprised me when we just started koinonia listen when we just started koinonia this offering bags that we have was a personal donation we just started and she made at least 400 and she began to tell me, she said, Josh, I think we need to start preparing for a counting machine. Counting machine? She said, because I see increase coming. What's your thought like? Your many parents didn't plan. They put one small house with one garage. They never planned for increase. That's how many of you are thinking. My little life my house one room all the children will stay me and my wife will stay an extra room where we are fighting she will stay there that's your mindset listen say after me i break free everybody inside and outside i break free from the mindset that came from my village that is associated with my lineage tonight i break free in the name of jesus i declare that i rise above cultural limitations i rise above the limitations in africa the world will hear my voice i'm the head and not the tail i have books to write i have lives to change I'm a leader yes that's how you speak and then you behave like one you start composing yourself like one no misbehavior iron your shirt dress smart if you are babbing bab well don't bab as if they took light and, and, and you ran out be smart it doesn't matter what you have your notebooks are your right be smart when you get up in the morning dress your bed keep your room clean you are behaving like your day, your future many of us are still behaving like our past god gave you a bed you are still remembering the days of the match you don't need to repair match you just stand up and leave your bed sheet. white bed sheet it has turned to brown visitors come and say have seat please dirty bed sheet like that you are not going far with that mindset some of you are ladies you won't go far forget about all these things work on yourself this night hallelujah you want to be a leader you cannot sit down 
the day 5,000 enters your body, you are, you are shaking. You must see that you must spend everything. You withdraw it and just put it in your pocket. You are not using it, but you are just happy. You are just walking around filled with anxiety. What kind of life is that? See, I'm challenging you. We are going to pray. But God is speaking to someone. Enough is enough. Are you going to continue where your parents stopped? Or you are going to rise? God gave you a job. You are not doing your best now. They ask you why. You say because I'm collecting 10,000. Bible says he who is faithful in little. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I break free from mindsets. I want to teach you four things very quickly. Right. I taught it some years ago. To help us conduct ourselves very well and behave like leaders. I want to teach you four very important words. Number one. Please. Write it. P-L-E-A-S-E. -E, please. Write it quick and look at me, please, because we're going to pray. We're out of time. Look at me. Many of you, this is the singular word that has cheated you from your destiny. You can never say, please, carry this in and give me. Please. Everybody say after me, please. Did he kill you? Say it again, please. Learn it. This is why many of you were not voted. They, they didn't make you the president in your family. Never become it. Because you cannot be cautious. Let me tell you something. When you tell people, please, it's a sign of value on them. That you respect them. That you honor them. The highest psychological need of any man is to feel valued and to feel important. Please, can you help me? Please, can you do this? Please tell him I may not make it. Please learn it. This singular word has made people millionaires and has made others broke and they will continue remaining where they are as failures. Please. Please, I may not be free now. Please, I may not. Hello, hello, hello. Call me, call me, call me. I don't have credit. Thank you. You are praying in tongues. I assure you, you won't be a leader. If I am the person I'm, I'm doing interview for your employment, I guarantee you I will employ you. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You may be attending Koinonia, I will employ you. Guaranteed. Hallelujah. Please. Please. Can I give me cold water. My chest, this food is hot. Give me cold water. Is it your own? You came to someone's house, they are treated. Please. Everybody say after me, please. Learn to say please. I'm teaching you how to be a leader. Learn to say please. Some of you, you only say it when you are in trouble. Please. Many of you, guys, if only you told the lady please, she would have said yes. You carried your mouth and just came. Tongue talking, but no manners. Grace, but no character. I want to talk to you. I'm saying I want to talk to you. You are going come now. Is he your younger sister? And then during relationship program, he say there are some people here. When we tell them to come, they won't come. Why will they come? Why? It takes a lot of humility, and it reveals a sense of maturity and courtesy. When you tell people please one more time say please say it please number two i'm sorry i'm sorry has made two nations to go for war one demanded a public apology the other one said over my dead body says all right we'll kill ourselves over our dead bodies i'm sorry listen when you say i'm sorry it's not a sign of weakness is a sign of tremendous strength. Many husbands have fought with their wives because they cannot say I'm sorry. Pastors are fighting one another. They cannot say I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Politicians are fighting themselves. They cannot say I'm sorry. You called me a pastor instead of a reverend. Just say I'm sorry. Say uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, why didn't you? I'm sorry. See, sometimes you must not be the one at fault to say I'm sorry. Sometimes you just need to say it and let it be. There is a saying in my language that if because you are holding bone, flies are disturbing your mouth, throw the bone and let the flies go with it. Nice proverb, not dull proverbs that don't have meaning. Very nice proverb. Hallelujah. Everybody say, I'm sorry. I, you didn't do anything, but just say it. You are learning. Say, I'm sorry. Now turn to your neighbor and say, I'm sorry. Some of you, it will sting your ego. That's the mindset I want to go out. Say, do it again. I'm sorry. From today, listen. Now that I have access to you, I must teach you and you must learn it by force. Tomorrow, you will not be able to say it. Pastor to members whatever i'm sorry when you hurt people tell them you are sorry i'm sorry sometimes you may do it unconsciously whenever you are aware i'm sorry mean it from your heart not this kind of wicked i'm sorry that is even more painful it's better to keep quiet they say two of you apologize i'm sorry is that a part see two couples who call for counseling okay it's okay it's okay say i'm sorry I'm sorry. Say, darling, I'm darling, I'm sorry. You know that this, this, this is not, they are not even ready for reconciliation. But the Bible says God has given us what? The ministry of reconciliation. Everybody say after me, I'm sorry. You must learn it. People hurt you every day and you are hurting others as much as they are hurting you. So you must get set with, I'm sorry. You will use it many times in your life. Are you learning something this night? Is something changing in your mind many of you after this grace you just need to call you are broken you are suffering because you didn't tell your father i'm sorry they would have sent you money since january you have not received your allowance now is march only that day i'm sorry i shouted at you that day i'm sorry and monday you will get an alert but you are sitting here you are dying your father is enjoying you are suffering please after this go and take your phone or break your pride and help yourself exam is coming next week I'm sorry. Number three. Thank you. Thank you. Look up. Look up. Do you know Thanksgiving is the principle of multiplicity in the realm of the spirit? Are you listening to me? When you thank someone for what he has done, he will reproduce it hallelujah thank you if someone does something good to you 20 times say thank you 20 times 20 times don't say i said it one i, I said it one huh? 20 times thank you say after me thank you an expression of gratitude an expression of compliment see these are the things that make people to love being around certain atmospheres some of you now see the reason why you don't have any friend you are your only friend your environment is is acidic it chokes everyone that comes around you thank you someone buys you a present someone says ah um you were supposed to iron your shirt i just ironed it for you because i thought you'll be praying you say uh -huh. That's exactly what you do to your wife. She just cooks and says, Darling, nice meal. He said, mm -hmm. I'm reading newspaper. Thank you does not kill. Thank you. Everybody say after me, thank you. You go for an interview. Please, may I sit? Yes, you sit down. When you finish the interview, you say thank you. You are talking in a meeting whether business meeting or leadership meeting they say all right you speak thank you for the opportunity to speak this is what i have to say ah, people will be looking at you they'll say now we need a chairman for this but before they say anything they say you are the one you see the reason why many people pray in tongues they pour gallons of oil on them but they remain where they are because their mindsets betray them you got first class 
but you don't have manners, no character, wrong mindset, and you are not working till today. Hallelujah. Everybody say after me, thank you. You must cultivate it. Tell people thank you. Someone adjust your seat. Someone held you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't say if I speak too much, I'll become cheap. Say mindset. Where did you get it from? Finally, God bless you. Oh, you must learn to bless people. When I taught it four years ago, I added one, I love you. But our society has become so bad. You tell someone I love you, say you mean it. Instead of him to say thank you. Say, ah, why did you say this now? So let's stop at God bless you. <laughs> we say I love you when we're in Colonia here. Well, you go and tell your classmate tomorrow. First you say, my God, this is unbelievable. Ah. Say after me, God bless you. In Jewish days, if you curse your son, they will, they will stone you to death. They blessed their children. Even the Lord spoke in numbers to Aaron and said, In this manner you shall bless the people. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. It was a benediction of blessing that was given to the people every time. Many of you don't bless people. They come to you, they go back scattered and battered. There must be words of love. See, just these things I've taught you, I assure you, is enough to make you an extraordinary leader. Let's review it very quickly. We are praying. Number one. You, you see, you cannot remember. Number one. Say it. See, some of us are feeling like big boys and big girls. You see, this is the, this is the mindset. When you say, please, you are feeling kind. Like this thing, where you are making us become like children. Are you mature the way you are behaving? Number two. Number three. Number four. Don't never forget this. Begin to use it immediately begin to use it immediately it will work like magic for you see many of you are already feeling a healthy esteem about yourself because you're announcing that ah so i'm having some secrets now i'll go and try it let me tell you it will open some doors for you beyond your imagination please use it for your roommate and see the way they will love you say this is my roommate you don't know my roommate that's why no matter what i use use it just use it first. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. Strongholds of the mind. Walk around and pray in one minute and say, Lord, I have a mindset that needs change. From tonight, begin a journey in me. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, begin to pray and prophesy. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Lord, my mindset, my mindset needs adjustment, needs realignment. You have begun a work in me. Help me. Show me the relevant books, the relevant materials, the relevant knowledge, scriptures that will change me. Hallelujah. Look at me. We are still praying. You're going to pray. Guys, all this sagging your jeans, you sag it down and you tie you, you tie your belt on your on your laps instead of your waist. It's called stupidity and childishness. No lady will marry you like that. Grow up this night and start behaving well. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Yes. Lift up your voice and pray and say, Lord, I begin to walk on myself. Come on, you are a leader. You can't remain a child forever. Compose yourself. You are going somewhere to happen. Pray for yourself, sister. Pray for yourself, brother. 
There's greatness in me and I'm going somewhere to happen. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. Now that I'm a man, I lay aside childish ways. Lift your voice and pray. I take responsibility for my life. I go for knowledge. Pray. I go for knowledge. I go for knowledge. I buy the truth and I sell it not. I stop a life of falsehood and I contend for transformation. Idolatry. One great sin that easily besets people. You know what idolatry is? Idolatry is not just building an image. Idolatry is putting your hope, your trust, and your confidence in any other thing above God. Any other thing. My uncle, my auntie, my this, my that. The Bible says, Woe unto any man he that puts his strength in a man. This is the reason why many people cannot receive from God. Every time God says, I want to bless you, your mind is going to one uncle. And the truth is, you think you are trusting God. You only remember that your uncle say he will bless you. So when the prophetic word is coming, you are see, you are already calculating. Who told you God needs your uncle to bless you? Are you listening to me? Idolatry. Can you take away every support and say, Lord, you have made a way for men in the wilderness. You have called strangers to bless people. I take my eyes. I've said it. In life and in death, I put my strength in no man aside from God. Whatever God cannot do for me, let it not be done. Wherever God cannot take me, I will not go. Are you listening to me? You must challenge yourself. Idolatry. Many people put their whole strength in a man of God. Now I know the Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. You shall be established. Believe his prophet and you shall prosper. You must also believe the vessel that God is going to use. But not to come and begin to worship a man because you are looking for miracles. Are you listening to me? There are lots of believers who are caught up in that kind of satanism. Yes, God uses vessels. God is using me right now to bless you. And shortly you will be experiencing higher levels of his grace and anointing in this place. But I want you to know that your strength and your confidence. This is why it is always our desire to exalt Jesus Christ. We have no business trying to exalt a man. Joshua Selman. The king of kings and the lord of lords. The one who is coming to perform miracles. Let me tell you something. I have confidence and I believe God will use me to bless you. It's not pride. It's the truth. He has anointed us. Jesus said the spirit of the lord is upon me. He didn't say the spirit of the lord is in heaven. He said it's upon me. So there is a place of confidence. But not to bring you to a point where you must worship me. Because I am the absolute custodian of the power of the spirit. That's witchcraft. It's idolatry. Hallelujah. So for those of you who came here to see the great man. Joshua Selman. You've had me on tape. This is the man. Nothing much about me. Except for the fact that I'm available for him to use me. Are you listening to me? There is only one name that should be exalted. Jesus. Not God. Jesus. God can mean anything to people. A bottle of minerals. One stone somewhere in your village. But when you say Jesus, the Bible says he's the express image of the Father. Hallelujah. So every miracle that you will see in this place is the Lord walking through willing vessels. To bring miracles for people. Hallelujah. That's why we rejoice and we are confident. 
we won't do that false humility to lie that we are not anointed i'm anointed it's an election by grace it's not pride it's the truth the ministers are anointed however we will not forget the anointed is only an usher christ is the one we are leading men to so if tonight's miracle does not direct people to jesus christ we ended up creating a platform of witchcraft where we become the king of kings over the lives of people hallelujah number three very quickly unbelief unbelief the bible says in hebrews there's no time it said they did not enter their rest because of unbelief there there are, there are certain christians who are so cynical listen to me and many of you need to be delivered from that spirit hallelujah you never believe anything that is god someone says ah i had a fractured leg it's just fixed now and you are just saying hey oh, they should allow me to come and stand and check all these stories we are doing how are we sure that the person you see that cynical spirit is what the bible calls unbelief hallelujah so when people are opening themselves and receiving you're just standing there and wondering and saying wow interesting how are we sure this way how are we sure how are we sure that's just the language satanic and demonic hallelujah say i'm a believer tonight don't just watch others and say this thing let me look first if two people get healed that's when i'll be sure or my friend that i came with let's see now if you don't get blessed you can't come and beat us did we collect money from you we will enjoy the blessings of god and move whether or not you don't believe that god is at work look at the people inside and outside their joy unto God will trample your unbelief. But I know there is a God who heals, who delivers, who can change the stories of men. The fourth sin that easily besets men is what the Bible calls a lying tongue. A lying tongue book of proverbs the bible says six things the lord does hate seven an abomination to him the second in that list is a lying tongue let me tell you what a lying tongue is a lying tongue is not just saying ah reuben is wearing kaftan where is wearing suit are you listening to me? A lying tongue is that tongue that is not consistent with the truth of God's word. That's what the Bible calls a lying tongue. It's not just negating or saying things that did not happen. So if God says you are blessed and you refuse, you are a liar because God cannot lie. You get my point now? A lying tongue. Many of us allow our tongues to profess and to speak things that are not consistent with the word of God. God says you are healed. You are there celebrating sickness. God says you are blessed. Hallelujah. And now we think it doesn't matter. But the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. He said, life and death are where? In the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That means you will eventually eat the fruit of whatever you are sowing. I refuse to have a lying tongue. That's why I believe he will bless people tonight. I dare not say he will not bless. We are going to pray. In the next five minutes and say lord whatever will not let me go back with a great miracle tonight take it away from my life no 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 we don't bow our heads in this place stand up on your feet we are going to pray 
Now is not the time to sleep. Please rise up and pray. Inside and outside, in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Say, Lord, I know that your hands are not too short. I cried my life unto God. I said, Lord, tonight, as you bless men, do not forget me. As you change the stories of men, as you have always done, do not forget me. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, my life is free from immorality. My life is free from a lying tongue. My life is free from idolatry. Tonight, my eyes are lifted up to you. Come on, pray. He's here tonight to bless us. I have made you too small in my eyes. Oh Lord, forgive me. And I have believed in a lie that you are on a who told you God cannot help you? But now, oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my heart, and with my song. Sure you're singing it from your heart inside and outside be magnified be magnified oh Lord magnified oh Lord you are highly exalted Now tell the Lord what you want him to do in your life tonight. Say it so that when it happens, you will know he did it. Don't keep quiet. Say, Lord, change my story. Deliver my family tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make. Your presence, Lord, reveal the glory of the Lord. Let the heavens be open. I command the miracle angels, the angels of deliverance, across the land and breadth of this building. Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. Yeah.
I'm going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families. Listen, it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go. For the enemy has done this. And God had so highly exalted him. Lift your hands as I rebuke the works of darkness. As the power of God comes upon you, let me help them in front. Thou devil of darkness, it's time to go. Let God's people go. 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 Let the power of God fall. Fall. I command demons, powers of darkness, for you cannot stand in the name that is above every other name. Go. Ushers, bring them. Outside. That devil, let God's people go. Those outside, lift your hands. The power of God sets men free. Sets men free. Sets men free. Katalaka patototobakata. Randa tabosa. You're going to shout Jesus once. And the power of God, devils will leave. They must go tonight. They must go. Are you ready? Especially outside. The power of God will fall like rain. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Let the angels, the angels of God are moving with a sword in this place. The angels of God are moving with a sword. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 No devil can stand. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. I tell you, no devil can stand. Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword. A mighty angel, a mighty angel, a mighty angel. Outside, a mighty angel, mighty angels, mighty angels, mighty angels. I don't know why angels are moving outside. But the Lord shows me angels, mighty angels, the northern army of the Most High, moving in power.
to your name we magnify your name like fire I see a whole roll outside like fire a whole roll outside like fire is falling like rain like fire no devil can stand no devil can stand this is a place for emancipation God's people will go free and no devil no power in hell can stand the fire power Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. At the back, this row, at the back, for you shall not stand over God's people. The fire of God upon one person at the back, you will not stand it. It comes like rain with power upon you. Every devil over God's people, those of you in front, at the count of three, I command every devil go. Go, one, two, three, out, 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 Every enchantment. My sister, be free now. That devil, let her go free by the fire power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. 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 Be free. That devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Bring that devil. Hallelujah. For you cannot stand the light of God. This lady has been tormented. Satan, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free. The heavens are open. God's power is touching everybody, not just those in front. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now be free. Come out of her. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Upon you. That fire power. Upon you. That fire power. In the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Hallelujah. I see a woman. I see a woman who came with a child. A woman who came with a 
I'm seeing a small boy. Where is the woman? Inside or outside? What's wrong with the child? His body is hot. His body is hot. Can you lose him? Can you hold him? If you are deaf, hear me inside and outside. If you are deaf, whether in one ear or both ears, if you brought someone who is deaf, put your hands in the ear that is not working. It's time for deaf people to be healed now. Or even if you are hearing, I see two people. You, you are hearing but it's not clear because it looks like there's water. You literally feel like water is going to go now. For one of you, water will literally come out. Katapato kofaya. Deaf ears, hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deaf ears, make sure you check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Bring this lady. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot. And I leave him nothing nothing to You him. believe God who set this boy yes, free right I, now? Yes. Oh, there are miracles. Yes, Listen, there are miracles happening. Now. Once you are under the influence of his presence, God is changing lives, opening doors. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. The power of God is going through his body. That's what is making him uncomfortable. In the name of Jesus, be free now. Be free now. I command your temperature to go down. Your son is free. Take. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone came, I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came, you are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly, please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? How long has it been? Since when I was small. Bring a chair for me, please, quickly. What's wrong with you? Pain. It's paining you. Yeah. How about you? Please bring three chairs quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Just turn it. No, 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 turn it. God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone you have abnormal, what do they call it, medical students, help me. Heartbeat, irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing, she's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats, you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit.
What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. Can I see your legs? Don't worry. I'm not saying you should pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? God will give you a miracle here right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that if you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it, please? Now, watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right? Tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? Watch it. In the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at, look at, look at what is happening to this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you feel anything? Help out with the mic. What did you feel? Now try walking. Stamp it. Come. Get up and try to stamp it. Try to stamp it. Just stamp it. Try to stamp it. You still feel pains? You still feel pains? It's... No. Are you serious? Come on, celebrate a miracle. Come, come up here. Jump. Can you jump? Look at. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you. This is a simple thing. I'm telling you. Don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself. Because that's what a lot of people do. You like, this is not jamboree. You disgrace yourself somewhere. Someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we will save time. They will pray for you. Hallelujah. This is, what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? Like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been walking with this? Yes, sir. You can't walk except you use it. Yes, sir. Look at me. My brother, I bring you life right now. I, look at me. Look at me. In the name that is above all names, I command a fractured leg to go. Let it join right now. See, look at what is happening to him. Look at what is happening to him. This is the power of the Holy Ghost. This is the power of the Holy Ghost going through the leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Can you walk? Look at me. Just start walking. Follow me. Look at this. Look at this. He came with crutches. Jump. Can you jump? Any pain? Fracture. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. Just got healed right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. A fractured leg. Hallelujah. If you are blind in one eye, what happened to you, sir? There was a who knows him? Who came here with him? Oh, you know him. He's a popular person. Is it true that he has been working with this crutch? Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. Yahweh. I think we should give God some praise. Yahweh. have the mic. Pastor Jake just prayed for him. What happened to you, sir? Make sure you don't tell lies, so. Hallelujah. Actually, I, I had an accident. Listen, okay. The leg was paining me. The leg was paining you. Exactly. So, okay. When the man was, uh, when Pastor Jake prayed for you, it got perfect. It, it became perfect. Yes. Come up, come up. Come up. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Jump up. Look at this. Look at this. Yahweh, 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 
your blood group is SS or AS, now is the time for it to change forever. Listen, I'm serious, I'm serious. Please make sure you believe, we are not joking here. Outside, I see that there is a mighty miracle that God will soon do outside. AS. Hallelujah. You can connect for any member of your family. Anyone in this place, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we command AS and SS to change now to AA in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I sense someone has been healed in the ear. Someone has been healed in the ear. Please check. You came here with ear problem. Someone has been healed in the ear. The Lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear. Hallelujah. Sorry? My uncle has been treated for the past. Two Your uncle? Okay, hold on. I'm a footballer. My uncle has a twist. So every time. Your uncle has twisted. Yeah, How long? Three years now. Every okay. time I'm running, the uncle will be making some. Just remove your shoe. Let me make contact with it. What's wrong with you, sir? Irregular heartbeat. Eh? Irregular heartbeat. Oh, the irregular heartbeat. Watch it leave you now. It's a devil. Go! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Check yourself. Breathe. In and out. Test yourself. Could you do this before? Breathe in. Could you do this before? Look at this. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please, ushers. Hold him. Let me just make contact with your feet. Hallelujah. Or oh, Bishop San, just pray with him. He will pray with you. Check yourself. You will be healed. Hallelujah. So we can concentrate. I, I used to have, I play hockey. I'm a sport. Okay, listen to this testimony. I play hockey. I'm a sportsman. And over the years, I've been having this muzzle pool. Muzzle pool, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. And right now, there's no... Right now, he's healed. Power of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pain in the right hand. There's someone I'm seeing pain here. Very severe pain. You even cry. Who is that person? It's time for you to rejoice. Pain. Severe pain is like a shock in your right hand. Who is that person? Pain. No, no, no. Check yourself, please. Check yourself and if act on it come on watch this could you do this before no. could you do this before watch a miracle happen could you do this before stamp it stamp it pastor stanley just pray for him hallelujah the lord perfect you in the name of jesus christ how many of you are celebrating what god is doing in this place the hand the Lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand. Please, when we call your case, just run out quickly. You are the one. Good evening. Thank you. Where is the pain in your right hand? How long has it been? It's up to five years. Now. Up to five years. What's wrong with it? What happened? I don't know. Just like that. Whenever I stretch it, I feel pain. In the Can you turn it round, up and down? Hold on. Can you do that before? Yes, no. But you, you feel pain. Yes. All right. Watch what will happen to you right now. You believe that? <laughs> It is such fun to see, such fun to see. Say can lose. Hallelujah. Look at me. I come in a name that is above every other name. And we challenge this devil. It goes. Look at me. I want you to wind it as fast as you can. Go ahead. Don't think about it. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at me. Sister, what happened to you? Could you do this before? Could you do this before? In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Ghost. What's wrong with her? There was a time I wake up in the morning and I found this on my hand. What is this? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to pray for you. Does it pain you? Yes. Does it pain you? Yes. The pain will stop. He is able. More than Out of her now, in the name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns me today. He is able. In the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That devil of darkness, be gone. In the name of Jesus. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, bring this lady. Just bring her. For God wants to use you and make a mighty woman of faith. I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched but she matched something that is demonic that's what is happening to her Jesus do this for your glory do this for your glory I set you free I set you free I set you free I set you free. I set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free. I declare you free right now. Shalom. Located your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord your healer. I said power of the Holy Ghost. who brought a sick person you are a guest please come and line up quickly you brought a sick person you brought a sick person please just pick up God is doing some you brought a sick person now is the time please come out let's save time you brought a sick person outside you brought an invited guest who is sick please come quickly bring them to the front What's wrong with you? Please, technical help us. Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pains in my chest. Pains. pains. You believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. You believe he will set you free. Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest. One of the watchers. is a demonic oppression you will rise up totally fine come come you're welcome come what's wrong with you madam schizophrenia what schizophrenia mental disorder schizophrenia we, i think we should employ some medical people who is studying you are a serious medical student or you are a doctor eh no we have doctors sir please come quickly quickly appreciate him Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. What is schizophrenia, sir? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric condition. Okay. That is characterized by hallucinations. You hear voices. You begin to see things that don't exist ah oh so it's like madness yes. like a psychosomatic yes. condition you'll be free right now look at me my dear
because devils, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free. Huh, my dear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Can you look at me? Can you shout Jesus? Shout it as loud as you can. Jesus. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil of schizophrenia. Go. In the name of Jesus. Who, who brought her? What happens to her? Okay, okay. It's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? Yes, it's going to leave her forever. All right. She sees things that are not there. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes. Is that true? Yes, sir. In the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes, sir. That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. Do it one more time. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Now run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally free. Totally free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sir, just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. You just minister. We have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? This is a headache I've been having headache. over a year now, yes. And it keeps me in presence. Go! In the name of Jesus. Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Family. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus. Be totally hope. In the name of Jesus. They pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. Alright, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Heaven. Heaven. You are sick in your body quickly. Oh, oh, oh. standing there I'd like you to be praying say Lord as these hands come upon me an end comes to it don't go back with your sickness those in the congregation be connecting some of you will be receiving the healing anointing in the name of Jesus go by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus
family listen who is not feeling fine or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying whether it's hiv or cancer i like you to be connecting are you listening the worshipers are they, they are worshiping it's not just for the formality of it they are creating an atmosphere are you listening to me are you listening to me so i want you to connect are you listening to me I want you to connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah.
eyes. He couldn't see. Is that true? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Please hold this. Help me with a handkerchief, please. Can you see? Touch this. Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven and earth. family has experienced any kind of delay now is the time to let go any kind of delay no 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 no. hold on because of I know there are many people just go back to your seat but all of you who came out the five of you all of you come and hold your hands together all of you hold your hands together five of you but I'm going to pray for everybody look at me the power of God will touch you I sense a strong anointing are you listening to me? A strong anointing. Lord, let it move across right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Restoration for your family. Great restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. No, no, no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please, just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith. Because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates. Bring this lady. Ah, I see a lot of demonic things. Come out of this family now. 
in the name of Jesus, every yoke of bondage, bata katabos, le prosko teke de la ba, na prosko toba, na preke teke, le prosko toba, na preke le prosko toba, na preke le prosko toba, na preke le Lift your hands, everybody. Mantatapakata. Projects that are not completed by your family members. That devil of delay is a spirit. Hear me. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot. At the count of three, the power of God, as he's hitting you, is touching your family members. One, two, three, like red oh God. Like rain, oh God. So papa takata. Every spirit of today. Go. 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 I command doors to be open. Break through. In the name of the spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Let the doors of destiny be open. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you are a student here, I'd like you to shout amen. amen. You will know why you are shouting amen now. Because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues, that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him. And he was ten times suddenly his, his intelligent creation, his, his capacity. Listen, friends, I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploit in your academics. Listen, and if you are in 100 level, happy are you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold on, leave her. Don't touch her. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. The contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the spirit. Tap that lady. Just tap her. Come. All of them, no, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your, by himself. He will pick you from your seat, no matter how far you are. He will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them, leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, leave that girl. She will come out by them by herself. If it's the Holy Ghost, he will bring her to the front. You will come out by the Holy Ghost to the front by yourself. It's the compelling power of the Holy Ghost and the castle in the spirit of power. There's one more person. There's one more person. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. Sister, you come.
come out by the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. God will do a thorough work. Listen, I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now in the name of Jesus. Be free. Say, you have supernatural exploits. I set you free now sister I set you free because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit and I hear what she's saying the Lord is setting your family free in the name that is above all names for after the count of five victory will be established that's what the Lord tells me one two Three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. For God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi's sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming. You just go and tell him. Are you listening to me? And for you, look at me. This is an evil spirit. Now be free. Now. Now. This is an evil spirit. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you listening to me? Your family. Can we come? Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere in Nigeria, in UK, or Canada. God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. Lord, let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now, Kemi, for you, look at me. It's a restorative breakthrough God is bringing. What you are entering now, you, would have, you are supposed to have entered it since. But the Lord is restoring to you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power and the influence of the Spirit. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? The guy that came. Come. At me there are three breakthroughs God is giving you do you understand one I will not talk about it but you know what I'm talking about the second is in the area of your business and that restoration is going to come through wisdom and knowledge are you listening to me wisdom and knowledge but look at me God wants your heart like never before do you understand business books 
can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Hold my hands in your hand. Give him an impartation, oh God. Let him know he met the king of kings. Strong impartation. In the name of Jesus. I command freedom for you. I command breakthrough for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come. You came from a university campus. Not Zaria. Where are you? You came from a university camp. Not Ebi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus. Not ABU. Who is that person? Please. Please come my brother. Come quickly. Come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart. Like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But you don't worry. Is that true? Yes, sir. What did you expect? Uh, to prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many. Please, technical help us. So, uh, I, I'm looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life Look is. Look at me, my brother. You, are, you just started ministry or something like that. Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will begin to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer, let it fall on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the gentleman? Come. From where? Futmina. Mina again. How many of you know that God is doing something in me now? Hold my hands, my brother. You came, you will catch a fire. Look at me, look at me. You came with, an hung, with a hunger. God will not leave you. Just lift one hand up. You will feel literal fire coming upon this hand. And it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. That strong fire upon you. It flows from your hand from your hand to every part of your body and look at me there is the spirit of leadership upon you you are going back with a strong spirit of leadership are you listening to me i'm hearing the name rebecca sorry we're out of time we'll round up now rebecca rebecca who is rebecca rebecca A student no where are you i'm in secondary school you are in secondary school yes, sir. will you be available if god uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school yes sir. what school is that jama secondary school jama secondary school hold my hands both of your hands say after me jesus i'm available like Catherine Kuhlman. Let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? Maybe you. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. See, it's like fire in your tummy. 
is that of the spirit you will never recover from it never never in the name of Jesus foot me now okay why did you delay we have to hurry up please did you bring your prayer request all right quickly quickly your prayer request outside make sure your prayer request if you are outside please write it quickly and pass it just stay where you are to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you foot me now uh, but you need to dedicate time for God huh? you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the world there's no other way to grow hmm? does it make sense to you what I'm saying but you came because you trust God to put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in him. In the name of Jesus. That you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer request, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly. Outside, even if you are just coming. Wherever you are, please get a paper. Help one another with papers, please. Hallelujah. Please, quick, 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 quick. You should have written this before now, but write it quickly. Please. Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. 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 Many of you don't know the value of an open door. lady close to Jessica. Come. Yes, you. Come. My dear, you standing. You believe God can use you in a mighty way. You want him to use you. Lift your hands where you are. Lord, release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used. The Lord is showing me visions. I see two eyes being put upon you eyes being put upon you Lord I pray that she will begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today in the name of Jesus my dear God wants you you believe that and he wants you this is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you they don't even know where they are going focus on Jesus Christ are you listening to me you need him first ladies what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus. If you know how to love and relate with Jesus, a man will become an asset to your life. Are you listening to me? Hold on. We'll soon pray that prayer. That special prayer to send away some people out of your life and bring the people God has destined. Do you like that kind of prayer? But you must be willing and obedient. Sister, look at me. You want me to pray that God will anoint you? You want to pray? good friends, an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory, but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. 
Jesus, please do something in her life, I pray. Please give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sif Strings, please can you come up and sing There Is None Like You with your guitar. Hallelujah. While you bring the prayer request, Steve Strings will sing There Is None Like You. I just sense that that's what we need. Do we have the prayer request? Please, quickly. Quickly. If, let's, let's have it, please. Pour it here quickly, quickly. All right, there's this. If you've not written, just write. We'll give you one minute quickly. This is not a ritual. God answers prayers, I'm telling you. My heart like you do I can search to all eternity, Lord And find there is none like you There's none like Jesus There is none like you There is none like you Hallelujah, hallelujah Now listen I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it. Please, everybody, stand up. Jesus is calling many people tonight. Listen to me. Many of you have heard me preach. You've seen the miracles. There are many of you standing outside. And the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. For many of you, you have been running away from God. Or you have been born again, but it's one leg inside, one leg outside. No one condemns you, but Jesus is calling you today. You came with your friend, but I like you. Don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. There are many ways. He said, I am the truth. Hallelujah. I'm going to count one to ten. I like you to leave your seat and run out at that count of don't be ashamed the lord is talking to you many of you from the time i began to preach you have come to the end of the road as i count as i begin to count one to ten i like you to run and come out one two leave your seat and run inside and outside three four run out don't be ashamed of anybody five Outside, God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Run out and come. Ushers, help them. Ushers, help them. Sing. Leave your seat. Forget about your friend. Forget about whoever you came with. We are waiting for you. Seven. Come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Don't let your brother make you sit back there. There is a better life. There's a higher life. There's a greater life in Christ Jesus. Better than what you have experienced in eternity and in this No one Jesus is still calling. Jesus is still calling. No other name. We have two more counts. Outside, Jesus is still speaking to a few people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Leave your friend, leave your relatives. Go on and come here. He's worthy of Nine. We are waiting for the last person. We are waiting for the last person. Ten. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all of you in front. Just pray this prayer with me, okay? Just say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you. Please help me. Forgive me for my sins. Make me a new creature. Wash me with your blood. 
make me clean. I receive salvation in the name of Jesus. From today, I receive power to live a holy life in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. Blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that held them back in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on, just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you'll begin. Every time we get people born again, the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings, once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you march straight to prayer band for one month. Hallelujah. You pray for one month. After that time, you'll be strong enough. We want our fruits to abide. Hallelujah. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Whatever has held you down, it leaves you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be a new life for you. Please get up and follow the ushers. Please celebrate this harvest. Just follow the ushers. Don't worry, you will come back. Follow the ushers quickly. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, please look up. We, are, we don't have time. Pastor Jax is going to speak just in a few seconds and release upon us the spirit of soul winning. Are you listening to me? Everyone must become a soul winner. Hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. Because God is going to be giving some of us a new heart. It starts with your heart, a compassionate heart. If you are willing and ready for this the Lord will visit you with it some of you literally feel like fire on your feet that's what I'm sensing right now a fire will come upon some of you your feet thank you blessed Lord Lamb of God we worship you Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Please lift up your hands as we pray. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands as we pray. Blessed Father, Abba Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I ask that God, you release from heaven. You release a fire from heaven, Lord. You release a fire upon your people from heaven. I ask in the name of Jesus, let there be a visitation. Let the presence of God come upon you. Let the fire of God come upon you. A passion for souls. In the name of Jesus, let fresh fire, let fresh fire be released upon your heart. Your heart begins to burn for souls and pants for it. You will not find rest. 
you will not find rest in the name of Jesus your tongue the fire of God comes upon your tongue in the name of Jesus Christ the fire of God comes upon your feet the Holy Spirit will lead you to, to speak the word to speak the gospel the angels of salvation Lord we pray that we release in the name of Jesus the four corners of this place let them be released let the oil and the mantle of evangelism be released we pray Lord I pray that you grant your people vision for souls a hunger for souls for souls Jesus 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 Aprendo Siva Rieto Mianta Intush Limante Risuminta Rionte Itapila Suminante Lord, I pray that God this fire will burn continually. We pray to burn continually, Lord. We pray in their hearts. Our hearts will be on fire. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of evangelism. That's the spirit of evangelism. Now Bishop is going to pray. I pray this will form strong on people. The spirit of prayer. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Lord, the spirit of grace and supplication rest in the house. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Spirit and the cold of the altar of the Lord rest upon your heart. Let your heart will yearn for His presence. Let the Lord make you and successful for your family. Well, I will turn to the Lord and take your family to the Lord. Well, I will turn and deliver the truth and the people of God from the heart and the mouth of the enemy. For the Lord found you and loved you and is successful. Men and women of prayer, in the name of Jesus, may the authority of God rest upon your hands. That you will speak for him. 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 You will love to be with him. He is at home in the secret place of the Most High. You can abide. You will learn to dwell in the secret place and he will grant you a fruitful, secret life. He can pass Any prayer request here, I'd like you to know it will be answered. Lord, we pray. Stretch your hands and say, Lord, go ahead and let's pray. Lord, do mighty things, solve problems. 
bring impossible miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus as we make contact with these requests in the name of the Lord Jesus prophetically wipe the tears of many in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Rakata prokoto prokoto baladaba Rakata prakata kata prakata kata baladaba Rakata prakata prakata kata baladaba In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Father we pray every prayer point here let it be met in the name of Jesus Lord release supernatural miracles for the sake of your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands. I want to prophesy. This is the final thing I will go. Please, if you came here, now is the time for you to receive something. Please, don't go back the same. Hallelujah. Listen. See, the apostolic anointing is not just talk. Are you listening to me? The apostolic anointing is an office. Are you, are you listening to me? It's an office. It's not just apostle. This, no, 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 no. It's an office. No man works. The Bible says he gave unto some apostles. It's a position of authority. Are you listening to me? It's an office that is recognized in the spirit. It's, an elect, it's not an issue of prayer and fasting. It's an office. God gives us this office to open up doors for others. It's an election by grace. And if you believe it tonight, you will step into a level of blessing. Lift your hands. Lord, if I be a servant of God, truly called into this apostolic office, my God, confirm this anointing upon me. Once again, I invoke the anointing that was given upon me when Jesus appeared to me. My God and my King, let there be a performance. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. I challenge thrones. I challenge dominions. I challenge offices. I stand in the anointing of this office. I compel every closed door over your life. Over your academics, delay in marriage. I release you. I call your partner to come to you in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that the favor of God, for He has granted unto me by grace, my God and my King. I see it like water flowing from the ground. Let the favor of God sweep. Let it sweep across this congregation. Outside, I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. If you can hear my voice, receive favor. Receive favor. In your academic favor. In your financial favor. In your relationship favor in the name of Jesus hallelujah I want to prophesy speed upon your life and that of your family members in the name of Jesus before the next miracle service I prophesy run with the spirit of Elijah supernatural accomplishment exploit by the power of the Holy Ghost Exploit, exploit, exploit. Hallelujah. I pray for every project, whether in your life or your family, building project, capital project, businesses, in the name of Jesus, God of heaven, the one who is at work in this place, I invoke by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be grace for completion. Receive it. Receive it. Outside, receive it. Outside, receive it. 
I pray for your academics in the name that is above all names. I want to release it upon you. And if you will believe, I release five points in the name of Jesus. I release it. I release it. I release first class in the name of the Lord Jesus. Supernatural intelligence. Every dull mind, I command you be productive, be intelligent. Every cause you cannot understand, go back and challenge it now. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray against habit, masturbation, pornography, whatever it is. If it's a habit that is not of God, this moment you have prayed, you have fasted, you have done everything you know to do. But I come under the anointing in this office. I command, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray all those who are trusting God for life partners and for marriage. Listen, please, if you are not trusting God, better put your hand. We are not playing here. We are very, very serious. If you are trusting God, for I don't mean people coming around. First and foremost, any guy roaming around your life just to mess up your life, I pray that tonight God will open your eyes. In the name of Jesus, may God expose destiny destroyers this night. May God connect you with the will of God for your life. I command supernatural marriages for you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus I command any kind of terminal disease and I see this the Lord is showing me ladies many diseases infection whatever it is I cause it now to its root in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah I pray for your finances my God and my King if your word is true between now and the next miracle service if it is the God of heaven we serve you will receive a call if it is a God if it is God that we serve may you receive a call that will shock you I prophesy it I program your spirit to receive it in the name of Jesus I hear a call it's a call is a call that's what God told me it's a supernatural call receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah many of you who have been confused about your life especially men receive grace to sit down and be established in the name of Jesus no more confusion the reason why you were born listen to me the reason why you were born between now and the next two weeks everyone here who does not know you are just roaming around the surface of the earth as God in men if God be God may the reason why you were born be revealed to you in dreams in visions by prophetic encounters by the revelation of the word in the name of Jesus hallelujah finally I pray for you lift your hands there are certain anointings that God has put upon this house are you listening to me number one the presence of God I don't idolize this but it's true number two the favor of God the wisdom of God financial prosperity are you listening to me and such as we have my God and my King may it be released upon you now favor wisdom the presence of God the power of God the miraculous I activate the gift of the spirit now all across the building the gift of the spirit receive it gift of healing faith prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues I activate your spirit man visions visions 
I call for fivefold ministry, fivefold offices. Let the apostolic arise. Let the prophetic arise. Let the evangelistic arise. Let the pastoral arise. Let teaching graces arise. Ba ta 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 ta. Ra ba 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 ba. Boko toposia. Upon ladies, strange order of the prophetic. Strange order of the prophetic. Strange order. Strange order. Grace to see. Grace to hear. Grace to move in power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. Please listen to me. In closing, all of you hear me inside and outside. Please listen. We're training people to be men and women of character. Are you listening to me? Not just anointing. It's not enough to have power. Those who are students, you must have character. This is the year you will demonstrate the character of the spirit. Be disciplined. Be dedicated. You can't be flying around. Every party cannot be it. Hallelujah. Your Christianity must bear fruit and everyone must witness it. Hallelujah. So as you leave this place, go and call all those people that cause you to walk in unrighteousness and let them know you have begun a new walk with God. I'm telling you, do it. Go and delete every ungodly song in your phone. Break all those CDs and kick it out of your house. You are either a Christian or you are not. Hallelujah. You are either a Christian or you are not. Say I'm a man or a woman of character. Yes. The character of the spirit must be at work in your life. Your conversation. You cannot be speaking as if you are not born again. And then when you come to church, you say hallelujah. No. You must speak like a Christian. Are you listening to me? Say amen. Amen inside and outside say amen. amen you must speak like a christian hallelujah you must act like a christian act like jesus is lord of your life anything cannot be it be disciplined you are a leader and be humble say i receive grace for humility if you are an arrogant person in this place i set you free from that spirit of arrogance be humble listen make sure by love you serve people are you listening to me the greater one in the kingdom gone are the days of all these men of god ah protocol for me uh -uh. the greater one is the one who can kneel down and serve are you listening to me take away that wrong mindset of ministry that has been given to people oh you are the woman of god you are the man of god bend down let your work speak for you let to wash the feet of others consider others better than yourself are you listening to me say i'm a christian if you are coming here for the first time let me prophesy into your life please leave your seat and come out inside and outside appreciate them very quickly please come out here quickly come out here quickly please clap for them they are coming ushers lead them to come to the front you're welcome give them a koinonia welcome we'll soon be out of this place now hallelujah quickly quickly Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Koinonia. Will you appreciate them? Hallelujah. 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 Please keep coming. We'll pray for you. I want to thank every one of you for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. Especially for many of you who came all the way. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. We receive you. Hallelujah. We are happy. We are proud of you. We want to pray for you that this will be the beginning of unusual hunger for God. That this will be the beginning of passion for the things of the spirit. And that this will be the beginning of an unlimited life of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Saints of God, stretch your hands towards them as we pray. We are praying for you. May the Lord bless you. We pray that God will make you better than you are in the name of Jesus. For those of you who have been healed and touched, I pray that your miracle will remain in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. 
I say, he's my son. Attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.